as you can see, um, I have my Mother's Day arrangement and it's time to put it away. So I'm going to just show you how I gather all like my flowers and I separate them according to color. Okay, and um, as you can see, I have, I have already started uh, taking out and taking them out. And I have my wire cutter because some of the flowers I kind of connect together. So I have my wire cutter, so I'm going to cut these. It's here already to be put away. guys I am actually finished now as you can see I have just the bases left you see and I have removed all of the colored florals and so I'm going to keep the base just like this I have two bases and I'm going to keep the green I'm going to keep the greenery in here only because I have a project that's coming up and I think be, it will be smart for me to just keep everything the way it is. And I can just add my colored florals to it. Okay guys, so this is how um, I would leave it after an event. And then I will actually get a clear paper, no, no, clear, clear plastic bag and store it on my shelf in the garage. Okay guys, so as you can see, I am now packing up all of my florals by color and I will store them in my hallway so my husband can pick them up and store them in our garage. Okay, so next is the linen that I had in my guest room for at least, I'm going to say two weeks. And I had these rented out to some of my clients and now I decided today just to organize it and get it, you know, back stored into one of my uh, walk-in closets. And that's the thing, um, I do not put my linen in the garage, only my uniforms, I kind of store them in the garage, but not like my white linen, all my colored linen, I kind of keep them in, a, in the walk-in closet in my guest room. And as you can see, this is my guest room, and I'm right now going to show you how I actually fold my rounds tablecloths and I think these are 108 I'm gonna say 108 polyester blend white linen and as you can see I kind of fold them 
and then I put them in a shirt protector or you can call it a suit protector but I put at least maybe between two and three tablecloths in each suitor okay guys so now I am outside cleaning my lanai and if you know Florida you know that we get a lot of pollen and dust so we have been going on so many different projects that we just neglected our home so right here I'm just gonna straighten up outside um, wipe down the tables um, and also uh, wipe, wipe down the chairs and as you can see um, I'm just trying to get all of that dust off of everything out here because it's just I mean it's pollen everywhere and so um, also I kind of go on to the next with my pillows out on the lanai as well I have to wash all of these pillows so I'm gonna wash the pillows as well so I can get everything cleaned up I mean you cannot neglect your outside of your home as well so this is what I'm gonna do today my husband is working on the yard Hmm. And you see how this one is really, really, the sun has basically kissed this one. Yeah. So we're going to put this, I'm going to put this in water. Kind of save them a little bit. Wow. Look at these right here. Right here. They are really like gone. Okay. Woo. Oh, he's going to cut the rest back. So when they grow back. Okay, so we're gonna take the flowers inside and uh, try to save them. Hmm. Okay, so one of the things I realized, guys, is that these uh, flowers have thorns, kind of like uh, roses. So just be very careful when you deal with um, Borgen Villas. Uh, yeah, I had to like basically cut them down and watch my fingers. I didn't realize that they had so many thorns, but it was okay. They, they're not really big thorns they're really small but if you ever run across this plant or this flower just be careful but all in all it's absolutely beautiful came out nice hopefully I can save it <laughs> Okay guys, so we are out visiting You Do The Dishes and this is an experience for us. Um, yeah, I don't know if my husband really likes this, but we'll see.
yes he did he absolutely loved it and as you can see he has a dinosaur and you know I have a gnome but um, this was an experience and we loved it and these are the results Okay guys, as you can see, we're at Big Lots and we are actually here trying to buy a fire pit. We must be losing our mind, but I guess we must be because my husband said this is when you find the best deals. So this will complete his area. And as you can see, we did purchase a gas fire pit. So I guess this is when he's going to put it together. Because, honey, it's too hot out there for this. Okay, so now that it's all complete, I have a wonderful candle that smells so good by Real Living. It's called Caramel Cheesecake. And I purchased this one at Hobby Lobby. Okay guys, so this is the end of this video. And I would love for you to like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.